Multi-Links Fiber Drop Gel Splice Kit. Before beginning the installation, make sure to complete the following checklist. The gel seal kit should include each of the following items. If not, contact your CSR immediately. If the cable has the optional toning wire, it must first be separated from the cable. If there is no tone wire, Continue installation. Mark 20 inches on the cable being used. Use the appropriate tooling to strip according to the cable type being used. Strip back the 20 inches of outer jacketing from each cable. Cut the central strength member, CSM, to one and a half inches from the outer jacketing. Mount the CSM clamps onto PEM studs located on the supplied bracket. Engage the hex nuts onto each PEM stud, but do not tighten all the way. Slip central strength members under the CSM clamps. and tighten the hex nuts to secure them. Strip buffer tube leaving six inches of tube remaining on both cables. Trim and remove the remaining Kevlar strands on both cables. Route each prepared cable end through large oblong cutouts located in bracket. Secure both cable ends using the provided cable ties by inserting them into the small holes shown in line with oblong cutouts. Trim and remove excess cable ties. Remove adhesive backing cover of splice chip. And attach to the center of the bracket. Splice the fiber using a 40 millimeter splice sleeve. Route fiber on the underside of bracket without violating the bend radius of the cable. Place completed splice sleeve into the splice chip. 
Secure the completed splice by routing the two large cable ties through the slots located on the side of the bracket. Trim and remove excess cable ties. Slowly peel off plastic protective layer from the gel seal unit, allowing the gel to settle back into place. Place bracket into gel seal unit, aligning the slots on the bracket with nubs located in the gel. Press the bracket firmly on the PEM studs to seat the bracket inside the gel seal unit. Close gel seal unit and squeeze firmly, assuring that both tabs lock into place.